This is the first lecture of this series, Communication Skills, ENGL 1119. And this is about introduction to communication. My name is Lukman Shah. The objectives of this lesson or this lecture uh, are that after having this lecture, the students will be able to understand what communication is, the features of good communication, and the importance of communication in the professional world as well as in the personal life. So the simplest possible layout of any communication can be like this, that in communication process, there will be a sender S and there will be a receiver R and there will be any information or message and that message will be uh, sent by sender to receiver via any medium or channel and then the required action or the required uh, feedback from the receiver to the sender. So in this way, uh, the process or the cycle of communication will be completed. When it comes to the word communication, so the origin of this word is from the Latin word communico or communicure, which means to share, to exchange, to transfer. Communication can be defined as the transfer of ideas, feelings, plans, messages, or information from one person to another. Communication will be effective only when it gets the desired action or response in terms of feedback. Uh, we are the part of a society and the society moves on the wheels of communication. When there is no communication, there will be no society. This communication is everywhere in our dreams, in our wishes, in our prayers, in our religion, in our happiness, in our joys, in our gloom, sadness, each and everything. Uh, we can find this communication. The omnipresence of communication cannot be denied. In the professional world, communication and its related skills decide a person's career curve. If a person is good in communication, if he or she has good communication, then he will be definitely on the positive or the growth of career. People with better communication skills get ample chances to touch the zenith of success. And definitely, this is evident from the people who are good communicators. So they are always at the top of any organization or any institution. Nothing happens in the professional world without communication. And whether this communication can be in written, in spoken, in verbal, nonverbal sign, gesture, symbol, and a lot of other ways. It propels the management process and serves as a lubricant for its smooth operation. Management and administration are always in need of a good communication to have the smooth operation or in the progress of any management or any organization. And it is vital to survive for the survival, the sustenance and the proper growth of any organization or any institute. Communication, according to Longman Dictionary, the process by which people exchange information or express their thoughts and feelings. The importing or exchanging of information by speaking, writing, or using some other medium. And according to Merriam Webster Dictionary, a process by which information is exchanged between individuals, uh, institute, between to organization between even two countries through a common system of symbols, signs, or behavior. Communication skills. This is the ability to convey or share ideas and feelings effectively. Abilities in the area of language and understanding, communicating expressively and practical language skills. So the ability to convey information and ideas effectively, we can term it as that the person have good communication skills. Communication process. In any communication process, normally these elements will be uh, present. Uh, first of all, sender. It is a person who is originating uh, the information sending. And definitely the sender will encode. Encode mean code mean uh, language. So the sender, according to the context and in situation, will encode the message, the information, the core thing which he wants to send to uh, receiver 
then there will be a message message is definitely the co information the data something which is meant for the receiver and which is sent by the uh, sender and then decoding then receiver the receiving receiver is a per second person for which the whole process is initiated and receiver definitely receiving the information on any medium or any channel he will decode he will uh, comprehend he will try to understand and then if there is something on the part of receiver to send back to the sender then that sending back something from receiver to sender is called feedback and in all communication process normally these elements these terms sender encoding message receiver decoding and feedback will be there the process of communication uh, is whereby this process is whereby information is encoded channeled and sent by a sender to the receiver via medium the receiver then decodes the message and gives the sender a feedback all forms of communication requires a sender a channel a message a receiver and a feedback that effectively winds up the process uh when it comes to the hindrance uh the barrier this is called barrier of communication so noise is a sort of hindrance in communication process it is a barrier to communication and it causes interference hindrance uh to the transmission of the message by disturbing the channel the medium the channel and professional communication the difference between general and professional communications are given below so when it comes to the content so general communication is always informal in style and approach and the ways the style the content vocabulary selection of words deliverance each and everything will be informal and in casual manner but in professional communication the content will be formal and it will be uh, communicated in, in an objective manner when it comes to the structure in general or in local there is no set pattern of communication uh, we can communicate in any uh, manner in easy go manner but when it comes to the professional communication then there should be a set of pattern and sequence which a uh, communicator will have to follow to to communicate in the professional world then method normally the general communication or the common communication is done through oral or spoken but in professional world a lot of communication is done through written uh, and few in few cases and in few occasion it can also be done through oral then audience in gen for general communication the audience is not specific but in professional uh, the communication will be for a specific audience like customer bankers etc language will be ordinary in general communication without technical words and graphics but it will be highly professional and will involve the jargons graphs uh, and words relevant to that profession or that field communication is a two way process by which information is transmitted these are the characteristics of communication and this is two way process and information is transmitted between two individuals institute organization province county or between two entity or the two points communication is a continuous process of meaningful interaction among persons in organization in private life uh, in any institute between two countries that results in meanings being perceived and understand in a desired way <laughs> the role of the receiver and the sender keeps changing in entire communication activity once a person can be sender but the next moment the sender can be a receiver and this the changing of this role from sender to receiver and vice versa is done in quick succession communication broadly includes both verbal and non verbal form it includes lip reading finger spelling sign language body language facial expression face to face communication and much more it is a process which transmits and disseminates important ideas thoughts feelings plans etc 
important uh, importance of communication the following factors make communication indispensable in the world of business and in the world of uh, this modern world of utility growth due to the emergence of multinational companies large business firm and organization and institute there is a need to operate them both within and outside the country so for that the effective communication is needed and in fact much needed for this growth complexity the second point or the second factor is complexity this is an age of specialization and therefore even in a single organization there are different activities like planning production sales stores advertising financing accounts and welfare etc and all these areas are all these department uh, need uh, effective communication in between and with the outer world then competitiveness today there is competition in business world if you get goods in various brands from market then as long as these brands are not advertised or communicate uh, communicated effectively then uh, the companies or the organization will be unable to uh, sell out their uh, products effectively or in a uh, large numbers company which communicate better sell better the fourth is harmony it is the duty of the management to protect the rights and dignities of the work when it comes to the top level management and the workers so a good communication between these two tiers will be enable a smooth or progressive way of working in any organization or in any company there should be a delicate relationship between the management and the worker and this delicate relationship can be done through a uh, good communication if a person is good communicator and he will be at good terms and he uh, with his employees or if he is he or she is employed then will be good time with the top management understanding and cooperation good communication between the management and employees helps to bring mutual trust and confidence between the management and the employees and this is the end of this lecture thanks for listening me and if you had any question you can ask.